All right, welcome back. Uh, right now, I want to teach you how to what to do if you accidentally delete a button or remove a button um, in touch chat word power that you didn't want to. Uh, we're going to go to places. The button that we're going to do today is restaurant. So now I just want to show you um, oops, sorry. what happens if you hit restaurant. So you can see that it's linked to another page because it has a right arrow, an arrow at the top right corner. So I'm going to click on it. Restaurants. You can see that it's linked to a page that gives, you know, choices of restaurants. This looks like all fast food, but then <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's another video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so we're going to go back. <clears throat> so let's say you're working with your kiddo's device and you want to, I don't know, change the picture of the restaurant icon. And so you hit menu to edit, edit page. Then you're going to hit the button of restaurants. And instead of hitting edit this button, which you would have to do in order to change the picture, you accidentally hit remove button from page. Oh no. Now, if you do that, um, it actually gives you a warning. So that's a good thing. If you see this warning, confirm button deletion, and you didn't want to delete it, then you can just hit cancel. But we are always very busy and doing multitasking and sometimes things happen. This actually happened to my colleague uh, a couple days ago. Um, and it was, a, it was a button that also went to a, a page of new choices and she didn't know where the button, she couldn't get the, she didn't know how to get the button back. Um, and then she got the button back but didn't know how to link it to pages. So that's why I decided to do this. So she, I think she actually, accidentally, well, not I think, she accidentally hit okay. And then bam, the button's gone. So now what do we do? Um, <clears throat> now, all you have to do is recreate that button and attach it to the page of restaurants. So we're going to hit menu, edit page. Okay, We're gonna hit that blank spot and create a new button. We're gonna label it restaurants because that's what it was. Uh, then we're going to come down and we can choose the same image that we had before or a different one. I'm just going to do this. Uh, this was the one we had before. I like it. Um, so then we're going to come down here and right now you're going to see button action. So right now the only action is the button speaks the message. Sometimes I don't like buttons to speak message like I don't like it to say places and then pick the place. So I'll probably take that away. Uh, but anyway, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to hit add action. And then we're going to go all the way down to navigate. I missed it. Uh, I'm forgetting my alphabet today. Sorry. Navigate. And then you can scroll down or you can just in the search section, put restaurants. And then you see down here, it says restaurant. That is the page that was linked to. So you're going to hit no animation. And then uh, everything looks good. If you want it to speak the message, that's fine. I'm actually going to take that away because I don't want it to say the message because I want them to select the restaurant and have it say the restaurant's name. All right, so now we're just going to keep the action of navigate to the restaurant page. We're going to save. All right, so now we have the restaurants button and you can see it has the arrow on the top right again because we added the action of navigate to the restaurant page. So now it's out of edit mode. So if I hit restaurants, yay, we did it. We put it back. Um, and that's it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Comment uh, if you want to. And let me know if there's anything else I can do a video on to help you guys out. I hope this helped. Take care. Have a great day.